Read BBS, BBS. Want to give a shout out to the Robin Thick, the Travis Kelsey, the John B of boxing, Caleb Plant, my my dude Caleb Plant. He stood his ground. He won the battle. Now he won't win the war, but he won the battle. That is, he finally got Canelo Alvarez to sign on the dotted line. They will be throwing hands November the 6th for the undisputed super middleweight championship. Now, four score, four score and several videos ago, your boy read BBS, BBS. Guaranteed, I guaranteed Canelo versus Plant would get signed. And for that, you're welcome. You're welcome. Now that said, Canelo, he still dropped the ball. He dropped the ball, man. But before I get into specifics on how he dropped the ball, go ahead and subscribe, comment, touch the bell icon for notifications of every video. Remember, sharing is caring. Love tap and or bitch slap that like button for your boy. But yeah, so uh, Cinco de Mayo, Mexican Independence Day, those are the biggest dates on the yearly, the yearly boxing calendar, because Mexicans are the biggest base of fans. It is what it is. Facts is facts. Like it, love it, hate it. Facts is facts. Mexicans are the biggest base of fans in our sport. And since the days of the Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya. Boxing's marquee fighter has thrown hands on the weekend of Cinco de Mayo and Mexican Independence Day. I'll break it down for you. In the case of De La Hoya, and I'm just strictly listing fights that were either Cinco de Mayo weekend or Mexican Independence Day weekend. Felix Trinidad, Fernando Vargas, Yuri Boy Campos, Sugar Shane Mosley, Bernard Hopkins, Ricardo Mayorga, Floyd fucking Mayweather, Stevie Forbes, the aforementioned Floyd. Let's get into him because after De La Hoya, he became he became the top draw, the marquee guy. On those same weekends, either Cinco de Mayo weekend or Mexican Independence Day weekend, Floyd fought Juan Manuel Marquez, Sugar Shane Mosley, uh, Victor Ortiz, Miguel Cotto, Robert Guerrero, Saul Canelo Alvarez fought Marcus Maidana on Cinco de Mayo weekend, then had to rematch with Maidana the same year uh, on Mexican Independence Day weekend. Manny Pacquiao, Andre Berto. Are, are you feeling the theme here? Even if you're feeling the theme, let me go ahead and break it down for you on Canelo's on Canelo's ledger, since he's now, he's the straw that stirs the drink. He's the marquee fighter in boxing currently. Amir Khan, uh, Liam Smith, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., Gennady Gennadyevich Golovkin. Now with that, the first fight was uh, Mexican Independence Day weekend. Their second fight was supposed to take place on the weekend of Cinco de Mayo, but that's when Canelo got popped with uh, Clint Buterol in his system, which he, of course, blamed Mexican meat for. So he didn't end up fighting at all because he was suspended and therefore not licensed. Triple G fought Vanus Matarosian, if I'm not mistaken. But even with that, even with that same damn year, Mexican Independence Day, that September, Triple G versus Canelo 2 took place. Canelo's also fought Daniel Jacobs and uh, Billy Joe Saunders most recently on those two 
one of or both of those two weekends. So it's a theme. It's a theme. All those big fights, yet Canelo willingly allowed greed and negotiations to delay the Caleb Plant fight to the point it will not will not happen Mexican Independence Day weekend as originally intended. So yes, Canelo Alvarez dropped the ball. I'm a fan, but facts is facts, he dropped the ball. Now again, the fight will happen November 6th instead. Uh, with that said, though, I fully expect Canelo to become undisputed that night. <clears throat> he is he is the best in addition to being the marquee fighter in boxing, he is the best fighter in the world. Pound for pound right now. And there's a grand canyon sized gap in Canelo's level of opposition and plants. And I just don't see enough in Caleb's arsenal for to to wrap my my mind around the idea of him beating Canelo. He'll make it a good close fight. Stylistically, he'll pose problems, but I just can't wrap my mind around how Caleb Plant is going to beat Canelo Alvarez. For one, <clears throat> Plant has more of a cutie style. I can't see you winning a decision over Canelo. I, I can't see that. Can't see that. I don't see the power in your record or in your fights that I've seen to where you're going to knock him out either. So we'll see. Anything can happen, but uh, you know it is what it is. <clears throat> But yeah, so I knew it would happen eventually. Canelo versus Plant. There's four pieces to the super middleweight pie. And Canelo needs Caleb Plant's piece to achieve his goal, which is being undisputed. So yeah, if you listen to if you listen to read BBS videos, trust and believe I will never steer you wrong. Not intentionally, that is. From the home of the three-piece combos, Pugilism Company. Read BBS. BBS. Blackbird Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Television! Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.